ran to a screen door in front of a room full of people where the boy was talking to his crush and ends up talking about his eraser collection. <laughs> <laughs> if so, worry not. Our awkwardness is a part of life, and everyone has worried about how not be awkward at one point, and if you haven't, you're probably lying. <laughs> um, today I'm going to show you how to put yourself out there, like, yeah, but, um, and how to stop caring about what people think, or at least look like you don't care, and how to avoid being awkward. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to put yourself out there, if you already feel too awkward to even know how to properly say hi to your next door neighbor, then the last thing you probably want to do is put yourself out there and spend more time interacting with people. However, the more time you spend with people, the more comfortable you will be socially, and the less afraid you will be of saying or doing the wrong thing. Make a goal of spending more time with people and less hold up at home playing video games or spending time with your pets. Okay. First, uh, meet a variety of people through different networks, like school newspaper or sports, or get a job, get money, and learn how to hang out with people with different interests and backgrounds. <laughs> okay. You can't be silent like I am. Uh, you can still be not putting yourself out there, even if you're in a room full of people. If you're the shy, shy sort of awkward, then make it a goal to speak up a little bit and make your presence known so you're more comfortable interacting with people. Yeah. Um, you gotta stop caring what people think, or at least you have to look like it. So it's impossible for anyone to ever really stop fully caring what people think. You can still make an effort to care less about what people think about you. If you're paralyzed by the thought of doing something wrong because you don't want to offend, bore, or annoy anyone around you, then you'll never be able to overcome your social awkwardness. <laughs> the next time you talk to someone, tell yourself that you're taking a risk and be dynamic, <coughs> and it's better to get the reaction you want them, them to get than getting nothing at all and doing nothing. People can also tell if you're obsessed with what they think if you keep asking them, do you like my new haircut or outfit, or do you think I should stop doing something? Then you'll look like you don't have a mind of your own. And if you stop caring what people think, you'll be on your way to developing your confidence. Uh, working to meet your private goals and doing the thing you love is a lot more important than pleasing the people around you. Okay, how to avoid being awkward? You have to increase your confidence. Courtney's doing that. <laughs> Even if you don't feel confident, you can either fake it until it grows on you, or you can remind yourself to be friendly as much as possible. It is definitely hard to find confidence in situations that bring up fear or anxiety and panic to desire to hide or run away. Like Sam had turned around. <laughs> However, asking yourself what's the worst that could happen and trying to do at least to a, to do at least one thing to engage with others around you is a good start. But don't rush it. Building confidence takes time and involves backward steps as well as forward ones. And dealing to calm your, like you have to calm your nerves and stuff. So dealing with your nerves around others is important because nervousness affects our body language. And if we don't open our mouths, people can read socially awkward in our features. <coughs> Another way to avoid being awkward is be friendly. <laughs> assuming that someone else wants to connect with you and assuming the best about them from the start allows you to be more open and friendly toward other people. Being friendly will put others at ease. Find ways to break the ice and give others the freedom to be more open around you so they won't just have to sit there and mumble random words when you're around them. If you're not used to being friendly, you should probably try it, because it will help. <laughs> it will grow on you as you realize that it's a lot easier than maintaining a wary, cautious, and non-trusting front all the time. But when meeting someone for the first time, be friend being friendly and rely on asking open-ended questions. Avoid anything too personal to avoid being a 
hearing nosy or having them be nosy back because you probably don't want them to know what you did last summer. <laughs> being friendly doesn't mean being vulnerable. And maintain your sense of awareness about people that are having worry, worrying behavior, such as like aggression or bullying. And look after yourself, most of all, because you want other people knowing like what you did last summer. <laughs> what we really want to know. Oh. But today I've showed you how to put yourself out there. I've tried to show you how to stop caring about people think. And I told you how to avoid being awkward, but might not really work because it's not working for me. Oh. So uh, let's get social ish. Oh. Uh, <laughs>